Hey everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. It is Friday, June 14th, 2019. Here's what's going on right now. Uh, as I am doing this video blog, stocks are lower. Nothing dramatic. Um, stocks, I believe, are going to stay more or less stuck in a range today unless we get some kind of news or a tweet or, or something. But again, Here's the story in my view right now. Uh, crude oil remains at about $52 a barrel. This is the false flag danger zone. L let me put another perspective on this for you. The, the investment banks, the financial sector as a whole has major investments in crude oil. So this all should play together for you. Understanding that the price of crude oil is already massively propped up, and in my view, crude oil should be half of the price it is now, in reality. So the, the, the price action of crude oil has no bearing on reality at this point. You witnessed what the attack, or whatever it was, yesterday on those two tankers did to crude oil. Now, I don't know how many of you are following this. I, I, I've been following it pretty co closely. But the captain of one of those ships is refuting everything that, that Pompeo has put out already, saying this was not a mine. These were missiles of some type that hit the ships. So there's all kinds of conjecture going on, despite the condemnation uh, by the United Nations that this was Iran. Have any of you seen the video? It's a joke, in my opinion. It's a joke! They, they put out this video, I posted it on my Facebook page and on my uh, Twitter feed, of the uh, apparent, uh, that's what they're trying to tell us, oh, this is apparently, or oh, this is the Iranians here. Look what they're doing, they're removing a mine. I can't make heads or tails of the video. So I don't know what they're trying to sell us. But it doesn't make any sense to me at all. Uh, look, the blame game, it came too quick, uh, as far as I'm concerned. And I explained to you yesterday, that's part of the build-up here. The, the very quick assignment of blame. Now, being that the financial industry as a whole, the banks, have a major investment in crude oil. Believe me, they don't like this. They don't like where crude oil is sitting. Some other event is going to occur, very soon in my opinion, to prop this up even higher. The global demand for crude oil is falling off of a cliff. We're in a global slowdown. Our economy is literally in free fall here in the United States. So they have to find another way to prop it up. I mean, it's incredible if you see what they do. When crude oil gets above 60 or $65 a barrel, you don't see false flags. You don't hear about refinery fires, oil pipeline attacks, bombs don't get dropped. It doesn't happen. But when crude oil hovers where it is now, this is the danger zone, the false flag danger zone. And again, the effect is very simple. Crude oil goes up. The entire energy sector gets a boost with regard to the stock market, the financials, because they're heavily invested in crude oil, and the whole damn market goes up. So just be ready for anything. You know, someone brought this up earlier on my Twitter feed, and I want to give this guy credit. I'm, I forgot his name, unfortunately, but he's like, Greg, you know, we need an, they need another attack uh, in the Gulf, and this time, unfortunately, they're going to need casualties. Uh, to justify uh, striking Iran. And, and I think he actually might be correct here. Um, although, I mean, they don't even need a reason or an excuse. This is something that's been building up for quite a long time. There's no doubt about it. Uh, we're arming the Saudis just in case of whatever. we got anti-missile batteries protecting Israel uh, in case Iran decides to fire missiles over there. I mean, you know, it, it's just, it's outrageous. The, the situation we are in is so unbelievably twisted. It really is hard to get your head around. There's no doubt about it. With that all said, keep your eyes on this. This, to me, is the false flag danger zone. Um, and we're going to see what they, what they pull off. Maybe even something over the weekend. Anyway, uh, with that said, uh, there's really not much more to say today. I, as you can tell, I'm still not even drawing pictures. I'm just so disgusted with the way everything is right now. 
I will get back to drawing some lovely pictures soon. <laughs> all right, I love all of you, and I'll see you at the end of the day.